Hey guys, this is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake Guy, and today in this video I'm going to be giving you three crappie fishing secrets, starting right now. If this is your first time here and you're addicted to crappie fishing, just like I am, go ahead and slap that subscribe button and give me a like by hitting the thumbs up below. Okay, so last time I went crappie fishing, I actually attached my GoPro to the side of the boat. Luckily, I tied a rope to it just in case it fell off. Well, it did fall off and I didn't actually know about it for about 20 minutes. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the footage from what I found while the GoPro was down there for 20 minutes. You're not going to want to miss it. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I get asked all the time by people that I take on guide trips, is it okay to fish right on top of a brush pile? Do you want to sneak up to the brush pile? Do you want to be careful, not be too loud? So secret number one is you don't have to worry about spooking fish whenever you're fishing brush piles. Go ahead and vertically fish that brush pile. And to be honest with you, the crappie do not care at all if you're fishing vertically on top of them. And usually my rule of thumb is 10 foot. I have a 10 foot rule that I use when fishing brush piles. And what I mean by the 10 foot rule is if there is 10 foot of water between the boat and the brush pile that I'm fishing, I have no problem whatsoever vertically fishing. I'm not going to worry about spooking these fish. Okay, secret number two is fishing line. I get asked all the time by people, should I use clear fishing line? Should I use braided line? Should I use high vis line? Does it really make that much of a difference? Do the fish really care about it? And to be totally honest with you, I've used high vis line, clear line, and braided line. And I'm here to tell you, most of the time, 90% of the time, these crappie do not care about what kind of fishing line you're using. The only thing these crappie care about is what's on the other end of that line. Now there are exceptions when I will use clear line and that's when I'm in whenever I'm fishing a clear lake. The lakes I fish like Grand Lake and Fort Gibson and some of these lakes around here, the muddy, the water is so muddy that it doesn't even matter. But most of the time, even if the fish can see it, it's not going to make that big, much of a difference. They don't care what they don't care about that line. If you've got a minnow on the other end of that sucker and they're hungry, they're going to eat it. I promise. So I get asked all the time by people, how do some people catch a lot more crappie than others, even if they're fishing side by side. He caught 15 crappie and I'm standing right next to him and I caught one. How in the world does that happen? So secret number three is going to be using a graphite rod and also paying attention. And you're going to want to know what I mean by paying attention. So when you're fishing, crappie fishing, it's not as easy as it looks. People think that crappie fishing is like bass fishing. You know, you can throw it out there, a crappie is just going to hit the jig and, and murder it and you're just going to be able to reel it in. So when you're paying attention, what I'm talking about is actually putting your finger on the line, watching the end of your, your fishing pole, because you want to be able to look at the line, feel the line and see the tip of the rod. So there are basically three ways that you can get, detect crappie bites. Number one is looking at the line that is going in the water. When you see the line going from left to right, something's carrying the bait away, you probably want to set the hook on it. Another way to detect crappie bites is by watching it into the pole. Sometimes you can be holding that pole and that crappie will bite it so light you won't even feel it, but you just see the tip of that rod go down. That's another time you're going to want to set the hook. And one of the final ways that you can detect crappie is actually by feeling it, okay? And that's when you feel the thump in your hand, you got your finger on the line, you can feel the thump on your finger, you want to pull it up and set the hook. But that is basically the secret. That's how so many people can catch you can be with an expert crappie fisherman and he'll catch 15 crappie and you'll be standing right next to him and you'll only catch one because he's basically using all three of those techniques to detect crappie bites. So now it's time to show you that video of my GoPro when it fell off the side of the boat and it was underwater for 20 minutes. It was crazy what I saw. You won't believe it. 